Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, so in a previous video, I made nitric acid with a neon sign transformer by ionizing the air, which uh, the heat from it makes the oxygen and nitrogen combine, creating nitrogen dioxide, which we bubbled through some hydrogen peroxide, and ended up with a really weak nitric acid. Now this method works, and you can concentrate it um, later on through distillation, but um, most people don't have access to a neon sign transformer. So today I'm going to be showing you a separate way where you can take common cold packs, the instant cold comp uh, compressed things, um, and you can actually take the calcium ammonium nitrate out of here and um, get nitric acid. So we're only going to need a couple of things. So we are going to need hydrogen peroxide. You could use water. Hydrogen peroxide just increases the yield. This is 30% which I got from a pharmacy. Um, and then we're also going to need some hydrochloric acid, which is sold as muriatic acid at places like Home Depot. We're going to need some copper, uh, probably about 20 grams or so. This is all old copper that's really corroded and stuff, but it'll work just fine. You can use new copper if you want. And um, then we're also going to need a flask like this. And um, a simple... I used it as a distillation previously. But I'll show you the simple apparatus later in a moment. So I'm going to open up these cold p packs and show you what's inside and weigh out all the calcium ammonium nitrate that we have. Okay, so um, I have it weighed out and uh, let's see, yep, you can see 160 grams exactly, which is perfect um, because we could do four batches with this um, all through the same solution of hydrogen peroxide to uh, get a fairly good concentration of nitric acid. Um, so I'll show you that process in a moment. But the other thing that we're going to need is a simple uh, apparatus or something like this. So I just have a pill jar here, which is, um, this could be any jar that fits this, or it could be a stopper. I just prefer to use jars because I don't like always drilling into stoppers. Anyhow, and then you just need a short length of some tubing into a, the, I used a cork stopper here into here. And then this is an exhaust port, which I use because sometimes nitric acid will form in here and drip off and you can collect it over here. Um, it's just like for extra yield, but you don't really need this glass tubing over here. Um, anyhow, so how this is going to work is you're going to have your two flasks. This one's going to be full of hydrogen peroxide or water, whichever you choose to use. And then here's your, this one's going to be filled with copper, ammonium nitrate, or calcium, ammo calcium ammonium nitrate, and also some hydrochloric acid. But we're not going to add the hydrochloric acid um, until the very last step. And then these things just kind of all fit together, sort of like this. And then voila. So pressure is created in here, nitrogen dioxide gas is generated, and it is bubbled through your solution, creating nitric acid over here. Now one thing that I did not mention before was um, on the box, if you're looking for where the ingredients are, you can see under ingredients it should say calcium ammonium nitrate and water because there's these water packets over here now if your ingredients say something like urea urea will not work it has to be calcium ammonium nitrate or just simply ammonium nitrate because sometimes they just use ammonium nitrate so anyhow what we're gonna do is split this into four equal quantities so we're gonna get 40 grams of calcium ammonium nitrate added in here and dissolve it with uh, just enough water to completely dissolve the calcium ammonium nitrate um, so that's probably going to be about 25 milliliters ish, somewhere around there. And uh, we're going to shake that really well. Now that's going to get really cold, so we're going to stick it in some warm water for quite a while to warm it back up to room temperature. And then I'm going to also stick uh, a bit of hydrogen peroxide in here. You could add however much hydrogen peroxide you want over here. Um, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to use a fair amount just because I'd like to get a fair amount of nitric acid from this. Anyhow, okay, so I'll see you guys back in a moment. Okay, so in the solution over here, all 40 grams of uh, calcium ammonium nitrate have been dissolved, and the copper is in there also. Um, it's all been dissolved into water. Um, so, I have 50 milliliters of hydrochloric acid here. That should be about the right amount. And we're going to add that in, and then quickly stop it off here. Now you have my hydrogen peroxide over there. And um, you can use however much hydrogen peroxide you want, it doesn't really matter. I'm using a fair amount because I want to make lots of nitric acid, but you can use whatever you want. 
And then way over on the far side here, I just have a little container. If you do put over an extra tube, then you can use the container to catch any acid that um, forms and goes over. Um, but if you don't really care about getting every last drop, then you don't need to worry about that. So, let's add in our hydrochloric acid and quickly stop it off. And now we're just going to leave it while the reaction happens. So I'll be back when it's done. And now we're going to repeat this step four times to use up all of that calcium ammonium nitrate and get a fairly good yield in, of acid in there. But if you have a bigger beaker, then you can use a much bigger beaker and have the reaction go much faster instead of having to repeat it four times. So I'll be back when four times have been done. Okay, so after that process, you can now see we have our nitric acid here. Now, this jar wasn't clean when I put it into this jar, so there is some white precipitate at the bottom, but that isn't contaminated any, and so that's fine. So here I just have some baking soda to test how reactive it is with baking soda, and of course some copper metal to prove that it is nitric acid because it will dissolve the copper. So I'm just going to take our pipette, suck up a bit of this nitric acid here, we will move it over, let's see. See, it's definitely fizzing. Now for the test with some copper. So squirt that on there. Now let's see. Do you see any bubbles forming? I think I see bubbles. I don't know what the camera's picking it up. I can definitely see some bubbles. Let's see if I can zoom in. You can definitely yeah, there, you can see the bubbles on it. So it's clearly dissolving the copper metal. Now this acid is extremely weak, but Luckily, I have a distillation set coming in the mail in a couple of days, which I ordered online. So we'll be able to distill this. Sadly, you won't be able to distill this uh, without a proper distillation setup because it's so corrosive and any homemade thing will be dissolved um, by this. So, if you have a uh, distillation setup, excellent. If not, save your weaker nitric acid and simply um, repeat the process I just showed you several times and every time you re-repeat the process it will become stronger and you get higher concentrations alternatively do not use as much liquid to um, make into nitric acid if you just have a teeny amount then um, it's a lot less gas to have dissolved and it will become concentrated much faster so whatever your method is uh, you can definitely see that it's a fairly good nitric acid. We're going to be using this to extract all sorts of different metals in the future. Because nitric acid plus hydrochloric acid creates something called aqua regia, which can dissolve all the metals like gold and palladium and platinum. So, this is probably your most viable way of getting nitric acid, and I hope you enjoyed. Wait, okay, bye.